I'm working on are three different infused honey blends for the apothecary. So I was out at the Wild Harvest Festival and up in Wisconsin, so many things grow up there that I can't find blooming here. So I'm so excited to show you some really fun blends that we're gonna do for both topical and internal that are all honey blends. So the first one, what we're gonna do is some wild ginger root. So wild ginger root grows in these amazing colonies out in the middle of the woods where you have a wooded area and they look like huge, huge, huge violet leaves. They're so pretty. And you can have like a hundred yards of them. They just go forever. And even though they're not actual ginger, they taste and smell like ginger and they have such a beautiful essential oil complex to them. They're just outstanding. So we're gonna make a cough syrup that kids like, all right? So we're gonna use some wild grapes that have malic and tartric acid in them. So they're fabulous when you have a yucky cough and you're congested and they taste good. And then we're gonna use our goldenrod. Goldenrod is amazing for all things mucous membranes. So what I'm going to do here is we're just gonna cut some of these little goldenrod flowers into the bottom. So I'll be making lots of infused honeys these next few weeks. And then what I'll do, we're gonna have some nice sunny days. So I'm gonna let these just sit out and infuse in the sunlight. It's just gonna be beautiful. That's, we'll do that stem starting to get kind of tough. So what I'm gonna do is just put some leaves in there. This is just such a beautiful plant and we're coming to the end of the season because you want to get it before it starts to poop out. It gets poopy like a dandelion. So you want to get to those flowers before the leaves will start to turn brown and you don't want the flowers to be poopy. And here we go with just using. And that is that. So then what we're going to do is take our gorgeous grapes. Oh my gosh, I found the mother load today. So we wanna fill this with a ton of grapes. And then what these do is they start to ferment in the sun and they taste so amazing and all of those medicinal properties start to infuse into the honey. And you have an outstanding cough syrup. You can even mix it into hot, tea, hot water and make a tea out of it if you're just feeling congested and kind of yucky. But one of the things that I love to do with this, this specific blend is um, two different things. So I love to take this blend right here and then also use it in my spa room as a facial treatment because of that resveratrol and those, those malic enteric acids and then you have all the anti-inflammatory benefits to the goldenrod, and then that stimulating essential oil to the wild ginger. Not only is it amazing as a cough medicine, but it's an outstanding skin treatment, especially if you have any type of inflammation on your skin and use it as a treatment mask. That's what's so fun about these plants. They do so many different things that it's not like your standardized commercial where you only use this for that because that's just boring. Nobody wants to do that. We want fun things that you don't feel limited with. Okay, look at all those fun grapes in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I have some of my wild ginger, and this is strong. If you've ever smelled or tasted wild ginger, it's very, very, very aromatic. So that's about all I'm gonna put in there. Just a little bit with that in there. And let's throw in a little bit more grapes because who doesn't want to bite into these amazing grapes? And unlike elder, you know, or like poked berries, you actually want to eat these seeds because grape seed extract is outstanding. And you can go to any nutrition store 
and spend a lot of money on grapeseed extract, or you could just go pick it because this time of year, wild grapes grow all over the place. So that's our first one. Gonna open up our honey here. Always get local raw honey to your area. And then all these herbs are gonna, they're gonna float to the top. So you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of space because they will float. And then you'll probably have to push them down. So this is our first honey. And like I said, I love to use it both internally and topical. Oh, isn't that so pretty? It's beautiful. And we'll just put our lid on there. Oh, look how pretty that one is. Yay! Okay, moving on. That's the first blend that I'm going to get going for the fall honey blends. Okay, the second one I'm super excited about. So, so many people hate autumn olives only because they don't understand how medicinal this plant is. Yes, it's invasive, highly invasive, and it will take over. But you know, we have these invasive plants for a reason. They're still nutritional, they're still medicinal. Just make sure that you're keeping, you know, don't let them take over. You know, if you feel like it's starting to take over, then monitor it, start digging some up. But here is a beautiful bowl that I've already started on of autumn olives. If you've never had them, to me, they have a very, um, kind of like a sweet tart flavor to them. They've got a beautiful, very soft, soft, sweet, meets a little bit tart taste to them. And so I will spend days picking these off. What I love about autumn olives, which I love to do plant walks with these, is that on the back of the leaves, they're shimmery. They're very shimmery. So they're a pretty green and then shimmer in the sunlight on the back. And when you look at the berries, they are shimmery. And so, but these berries are super high in lycopene and they're anti-inflammatory. So they're extremely nutritious, but I just learned that so are the leaves. So we can take these leaves and dry them out like we would a mulberry leaf, powderize them and drink them like a matcha green tea. So you know that that's going to happen at the apothecary this season. But what I'm gonna do with this particular blend here is get some of our olives Right now they're in full bloom. So right now is the time to go out and get these. And we wanna have enough in there so that whoever gets this, this one can get like a big spoonful in there. Okay, then the other one that I'm so excited about is my vanilla sweetgrass. So think about that beautiful, soft, soft berry flavor with some vanilla sweetgrass infused, getting those beautiful vanilla flavors infused in there. I'm gonna let these sit in the sun and ferment. Now this one, I probably, I don't know, I might use it topically, it sure would be beautiful. You know what, I probably will. I probably will use this topically also because it's gonna smell fabulous and it's really high in those beautiful lycopenes that are going to be gorgeous, but lycopene is amazing for hormone health and especially men and your prostate health. So if you like honey, this would make a great tea for men to come in and get, or just eat it by the spoonfuls or put it in overnight oats, put it over some nice sourdough pancakes. Mm -mm -mm. That is going to be so good. Okay. And then the next one, what we're going to do is I have some spices always in glass, always organic, because they have found way too many heavy metals in our spices. So since we can't grow our own cinnamon here in the United States, unless we have some killer greenhouses. So this is Ceylon cinnamon. You always want Ceylon cinnamon because it is lower in coumarins, which means that it will not be toxic to your liver, okay? So Ceylon cinnamon. And then I have cardamom. Cardamom is one of my favorites. I love cardamom. I love it in everything. They're great carminatives, so they're just outstanding if you're ever having um, tummy aches. 
and some nutmeg. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna fill that. Ugh. These make great gifts too. Not only are they super nutritious, packed full of wild food nutrition, but they're super pretty. They make fabulous Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. Just I'm thinking of you. I would rather have something wild like this. <gasps> Look at that. See how they floated to the top? Look how pretty that is. Absolutely stunning. The beauty of nature. Okay, so now our third one. What we're going to do now is a sumac berry one. So sumac berries are full of different acids, but they're mostly malic acid, which is extremely sour and extremely cleansing. These plants are fabulous for your kidneys. They're just outstanding. They also help to support the antidiuretic hormone in the body, but they're used in spice blends. Now, what I recommend you do with these, is kind of pull them apart with your hands. That way you can make sure those little critters can hide down in there and you don't want that. But a lot of people, in other cultures, especially like Saudi Arabia, overseas, they like to use these for spice blends. You can take them and powderize them and make some of the most amazing spice blends out of them. Let's see, all that in there. Here's some other, oh, they just kind of crumble in your hand. Most people like to use these and make lemonades out of them. Mmm, that is just going to taste so good once it infuses in the sun. But you don't want to cook them. That's the thing with these berries. You don't really want to heat them because then you will lose all of those medicinal qualities with those acids because they're not heat stable. So that's why infusing them into some honey is so good. We'll take. that whole little stem in there. And then what I have is some mint. I have some mountain mint because it's really, really strong. If anybody grows mountain mint, this one is extremely aromatic. So let's just cut some of that up in here. And just imagine tasting these when they're done. And it's fun, you can just go through your own gardens or if you wildcraft and you forage, just start playing with some different flavor profiles of, of the plants that you meet out in the wild. When you know they're safe to eat, when you know they are wild foods. But these mints are from my mint gardens. Got another beautiful mint here. That's a lemon mint. So I thought the lemon mint would be really fun in this with the citrus flavor. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I want that peel in there. We are going to slice. Now these are organic lemons. You've heard me say before, when you get citrus, Make sure you are buying organic because it's highly sprayed with pesticides. And you just don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna kind of squeeze a little bit, drop it in. Drop that in there. That way we can get some amazing lemon in that honey with that sumac. Gonna be beautiful. Okay, now let's cover. Oh, 
Okay, there we have three beautiful, amazing, oh, these are gonna taste so good, infused honeys. These are just starting to float up. Three infused honeys for the apothecary spa that can all be used for a infused tea, use it in your overnight oats, use them as a cough syrup, and you can use them topically for an amazing nourishing skin treatment.